Hi, I'm Paris, and in addition to adhering more closely to my diet, today I'm planning to adhere metal clip to the top of my virtual reality camera so I can hook this to a kite and fly it up in the air. Now this might not seem like the best time to try out a new adhesive, but the adhesives that I'm familiar with, I don't trust to hold the weight of this onto a kite string. So I've seen ads for Bondic. This is a, like a plastic liquid plastic welding, which as near as I can tell is fairly similar to composite fillings in the teeth. Those are strong. They seem to adhere to your teeth really well, even through thousands of hours of chewing. So I'm going to put my faith in this Bondix material to fly my camera up with a kite today. Let me show you how this works. Epic review guys. I ordered my Bondix kit online and it came in this cute little container. Inside, you can see the applicator and the light. It also came with a set of instructions that I've already read through. So I don't think this is exactly like the uh, composite material that fillings that dentists use, but it seems to be pretty similar. You basically apply the liquid material, resin, and you use um, UV light to cure it, which if you've ever had those white fillings done in your teeth, you know they stick a UV light in your mouth and put it near the spot they've done the filling, and after five or ten seconds, it's completely cured and hardened. You can go out and eat food on it right away. This kit with a single, I guess, uh, tube of the liquid goes for about $20. If you'd like to find out more about this Bondit kit, there's a link to it right down below this video. As soon as I opened the metal case this came in, I smelt a fairly strong chemical smell, so I'm guessing that's the resin that's included. You want to be careful with that, as well as with the UV light, not to shine it in your eye or anyone else's. To activate it, I'll point it over to the side here. You just squeeze it. That turns on the UV light. You put that near the liquid that you've extruded that you want to use to adhere two things together, and it should, within four seconds, completely harden. This little piece pops out of here if you would rather to get a good angle at where you're trying to apply the UV light if you need to take it out. And this comes off of here and here's where you've got your vial of the liquid. This is supposed to be good for 12 months if you store it at room temperature and it's not supposed to harden in the bottle. You notice it's black plastic that the light can't get into because even regular sunlight will provide some UV light and cause that hardening reaction to happen. I don't know what's going to happen when I finish unscrewing this, if it's exposed or not. Maybe I'll do it this way. Um, that's the liquid. How do we apply it? Alright, didn't see this in the instructions. I thought they'd forgotten to give me the precision metal applicator tip. But the way to expose that is to hold on to the part that you would normally unscrew to dump a lot out. And there is that tip. Oh, it's already got some liquid coming out of it. Otherwise, you can unscrew this whole top portion of the vial and dump it out. But you probably don't want to do that because you have to apply this in thin layers and you have to cure each layer before putting another layer on it. You also want to work with clean but slightly roughened surfaces because that gives the material more little grooves and indentations to hold on to. I think that's what they're doing when they go in and clean a filling out in your tooth. They work around there, they leave it smooth but roughened up so that the material can hold on. So this is my camera. The Rico Theta S. I do not want this to fall out of the sky, but I want to be able to get this up into the sky. It's a nice windy day today and I really want to attach this to a kite, leave it hanging below the kite and record in virtual reality. On top there's some little holes for the speakers and then a perfect spot right in the center where I'm going to try to attach a button with a loop on it. Here's the surface I'm going to be working with. I'm going to try to put the button with the flat side down here right between the microphone holes and um, see what I can do about getting the UV light in there. Of course this adheres best when you can shine the light clearly on what it is you're trying to adhere. There's a little groove underneath of there so I'm hoping I'm going to get it to harden in place enough but of course I'll test it well before actually sending it up. These are the buttons that I'm going to use. This will be the part, it's metal, this will be the part that will adhere onto the top of that and there's a little loop sticking out the other end. That's what I'll be able to put the string through. 
Also, according to their recommendations, I'm going to use a little alcohol wipe here to wipe down this area. You don't want to have any oil from your skin or anything else on the material that you're going to try to bond that might not let it get a good grip. I also use the alcohol wipe on the back of the button, so that will be all ready to adhere. And this is what I'm looking for right here, to have the button with the loop stick up like that so I can attach a string to the top of this camera. Here I go. Okay, I've already got liquid here on this metal tip. I'm going to put just hopefully a tiny bit. Oh, this isn't really runny. This is kind of like liquid rubber cement sort of material. It's a little gummy. Okay. So I will put that there. Take my button. Plop it on there. There's the plop. Better get it straight. Okay, it stayed liquidy. Now it's time to add the UV light, see what I can do here, and then I'll build up some layers around it. UV light. Four seconds. Don't look at it with my eyes. Dare I try to pull it off? Let's see. Well, doesn't slide off. Well, that's on there pretty good. I don't want to pry it off, but I want to know if it's possible to pry it off. Okay, going to try a little fishing line through the loop. Well, it's passing that test. <laughs> I'm not entrusting this to going 200 feet up in the air without adding some more, but I'm impressed that it stays liquid and easy to move the objects around. It doesn't start drying right away and then they get stuck in the wrong position. You have to break it off, try all over again. So it, this is pretty cool that you can apply the liquid, get everything right where you want it, then take the UV light and get it to freeze in place. Here's what I think is the finished product. I don't want to keep putting more and more layers on it, make a big glob on top. Just put what I need. Now this is on here pretty good. I am trying to twist it or, or peel it off and it's not coming. So I think I've done a good job. The test will be in the flying, which I'm going to head out shortly to do and I'll include some of that in this video. As you can see in that video clip, the Bondic did an amazing job of attaching this little piece to the top of the camera. If only I had done an equally amazing job flying the kite and not crashing this into the ground, but it still works. More experimentation required to try to get this up in the air to do some recording. According to their advertising, Bondic is supposed to work perfectly well in situations where it will be exposed to liquid. And if I'm right about it being similar material to the fillings of the teeth, then yes, exposed to liquid, it should do fine. Also, you can use it in low voltage electrical situations. If you're going to try that, be sure and read carefully what they say about it. But if some piece of a connector is missing, you might be able to use this material to fill that in. I don't have needs for those, but something I always thought would be kind of cool would be to take two pennies stick them together so you have a two-headed coin. So I've got two pennies here. I'm going to try sticking them together with this. The reason for that is I don't think it will work. I'm going to put a little bit of the material in the middle, hold the pennies together, and shining the UV light from the side, I'm, I suspect it won't be able to penetrate enough to actually stick them together, which does show the limitation of this. It's not like regular glue where you can stick a little somewhere way down in the middle of something that has to be stuck together, hold it together and it will stick. This won't if you can't get the UV light in there. Okay, so I've got my pennies. Now that should be plenty in the very middle of the coin. Let's see it come out the sides and they're very slippery sliding over each other. 
There is a little gap there created by the liquid itself pushing the pennies apart. Okay, if that were going to get in there and work, it should have gotten in there and worked. Nothing. No stickiness at all. So that's my experience with Bondix. Works very well in situations where you might not trust another glue, but it's only going to work where you can get that UV light to shine. Goes for $20 for this tube. I have a link to it down below this video, and they sell those multi-packs. If you tend to break lots of things, you might want to buy one of those. You can keep checking back for future videos, or you can click that subscribe button down below. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.